What it do, YTZ? It's your big slime, too tall, Bishop Jones, and you know what's going on. And I'm at the crib chilling, as you can see. Got the football playing, you know. It's on me right now because it's it, it just some funny shit just happened, right? I'm going to do a quick story time. Not sure I ever told a story, but we're going to do a quick story time. So, randomly, I just go on my Instagram and I see somebody sent me a friend request. So, it's a dude that I was in prison with. He's from my city, you know. We ain't going to say no names, you feel me? But if you ever watch this, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. So, he sent me a friend request. I didn't accept it. Like, you're not getting on my page, goofy motherfucker. So... When we was in prison, and I'm not going to say where we was at because everybody that, that was where we going, everybody know what's up. I, I was in prison. We was in prison, you feel me, at this certain prison. We like the black, yo, okay. So in prison, right? In prison, it get the movies, and I guess back in the day when people used to tell little stories about like people getting their body tug and stuff like that. Listen, yo, that's not true. Nobody gets their body took in prison. Nobody get, can I say rape? I, nobody get fondled with or nothing like that. It, everything is given. These men is giving it to these other men. These other men been wanting it, so they've been giving it to them. So listen, don't don't let nobody scare y'all and say, yo, man, if you go to jail, they're going to take you. No, they not. If you give it to them, they're going to take it. If not, they not. Like, that's just how it is. So where I was at, it was a big, it was a big prison. So it was a bunch of, bunch of motherfuckers on this yard. So it just so happened, it'd be a couple regular dudes that be, I mean, with a bent hand. But you got like four or five transmissions on that motherfucking yard you feel me and when i'm saying transmissions i'm talking about you know like the ones that like the, the ones that be having like the makeup and hair and, and the fake boobs and stuff like that they like turn that whole self into a female type shit so they transform you feel me there's a bunch of transformers on there so it's like this if you're homosexual and you in prison Nobody's going to fuck with you. Ain't nobody trying to take you or none of that shit. These men is doing this shit willingly. And these men is actively pursuing these transmissions and transformers willingly. Nobody is taking anything. So now that I explained that, we got about five of these transformers walking around like the yard. They got, they done made purses. They make makeup with like, marker and shit like that eyeliner all that shit they got all this shit but they make it from like household shit so in prison even though you're a male for some reason they let you buy women's like panties and i don't understand that but you could buy women's panties i guess if you're in that situation so they walk around with that crack out and all that with their panties poured all up like a fucking thong, so they trying to catch the men that that want this shit. Like, don't nobody beat them up or nothing. They no cap, yo. Them them fucking transformers and 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 shit. Like they really run in the fucking yard, yo. Like they got all the shit. They got all the drugs, all the food, all that shit. They can get you whatever you want. So a lot of people deal with them because they fucking run in the yard, really. Like. Y'all think I'm tripping, but I'm really not. Like, these motherfuckers is running around hitting cartwheels. Nobody's doing shit to them because half of the motherfuckers is fucking them. So it's like, it's weird as shit when I hit the yard. I'm like, how the fuck? I'm like, in Baltimore, bro, the motherfuckers got to stay in the cell. They not coming out the cell. Like, people bother them in Baltimore. Here, they fucking run around skipping. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So we had this one dude from Baltimore. He come in. He liked to like shoot pool and play ping pong and shit like that. So we ain't never really paying no mind. He don't really hang out with the gang members and shit like that. So we don't pay no mind, but he from Baltimore. So if you fuck with him, we on your ass. You feel me straight like that. That's how we carried it. So one day a North Carolina dude come up to me like, bro, let me holler at you about something. Now I'm the youngest at this point in the feds. 
So I'm not calling those shots. It's, a, it's, it's people over me. Like, if it's a problem with cities, you feel me, beef start, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. So I'm like, what the fuck you coming at me for? Like, I'm a shot caller when I'm the youngest one here. I'm the motherfucker that go do the bullshit for the people that got life, you feel me? If they got a problem, they send me to go do the shit. I, they not doing it. I'm like, you can't talk to me, bro. Like, I'm not no shot caller. Don't put me in that shit. So he like, no, nah, this just on some regular shit. So I'm like, all right, what's up? He like, man, I want to holler at you about one of your Baltimore homies. Now, when he said that, I'm like, bro, you from like North Carolina or something. Don't get in our business, you feel me? But he on some shit like, no, nah, I'm trying to put you on some church. I'm like, all right, cool. He was cool, so I'm like, cool. Plus, I got ties with the North Carolina car. When I say car, I mean like the group of North Carolina people because my family is from North Carolina. So I, I intertwine with them because I know a lot about it. So they accept me as like a, you know, yeah, church fuck, fuck with us. So like, yeah, he grew up down there too. So I was cool. So I'm listening to him. He like, look, your man go down there and play ping pong and pool and shit like that. But for some reason, anytime he see one of the transformers, a certain transformer down there, that's when he see my homeboy down there. So he said he get the peeping on one day, like they doing a lot of eye contact and all this shit. Like, and he like, bro, I'm a man, you feel me? I know when the motherfucker is on some bullshit. He like, man, they stare at each other, they give each other these little eyes and smiles and shit. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you trying to tell me? Well, he like, I don't know, yo. He like, yo, just just watch your man. Cause every time the, the transformer move, he move, they, they leave at the same time. They always popping up. He like, yo, we just been noticing some shit. Maybe y'all should start peeping it. All right, cool. And the whole thing is, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Ain't nobody worried about that shit. You feel me? If you prefer a man, you prefer a man. That's cool with you. You feel me? That's it. Like, but don't go around acting like you don't and you is. That's the part. Like, and and now you you making our city look like we on some bullshit when we when we really not. Like, so I'm like, all right, we gonna watch him. So I, I put one of my other homies on it, like, yo, let's watch yo, cause they saying shit, so let's peep it. One day we go down there to go work out, and mind you, it's like work out on the outside and inside, so we going on the inside with a pool hall at the ping pong table, they playing spades and shit like that. So we go in there, my homeboy, well, I wouldn't say homeboy, but you know, a Baltimorean, he over here shooting pool with the transformer that they was telling us about. So when we walk in, he see me, his eyes get big as fuck. Mind you, this like a time, like a Sunday, nobody really in there, everybody watching football in the, inside of the jail. Like, you feel me, the dorms and shit like that and the big TVs. So we really not in the wreck area. So it's like a weird time for them to be in there. So we like, like, bro, he, 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 what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, y'all, and all that shit. So we like, the fuck is you doing? They're like, oh, man, yo, like, chilling, pool, shooting pool, man. This, this motherfucker was the only person out here, so I figured I'd play ho. I'm like, like, now, mind you, y'all, they just told us about this shit, you feel me? So it's like a big coinkadink that y'all shooting fucking pool together over here, laughing and joking and shit. Not that it's any a problem, y'all, like, you can interact with a homosexual and it's not shit. Like they're a fucking person, right? That's not the thing. The thing is that they've been saying some shit going on with y'all and it just so happened y'all here fucking shooting pool together. Now that's the shit that's getting us. So we like, all right, you feel me? Of course he figured out a way to roll out. He roll out, leave the transformer there. About five minutes later, the transformer roll out. So we like, yo, what the fuck? So now we like, yo, maybe... The North Carolina motherfucker saying, saying something that we supposed to, like, now we like, all right, yo, maybe they ain't just trolling, you feel me? So a couple days go by, and it's like, it's like a motherfucking, I forgot what holiday it was. It was like a holiday, right? And on this holiday, we get bag lunches without lunches, but they hook you up. They give you hella shit that you normally wouldn't get. So we getting all the treats and snacks and shit that they got in the world, you feel me? We ain't got no prison cookies and shit. We getting like big Snickers and shit. So we like, oh shit. So my homeboy come, the one that I'm talking about, let's just call him uh, football. We gonna call him football. 
So football come walking with all these bags and shit. We like, yo, where the fuck you get all this shit from? Mind you, he a broke motherfucker. So he was like, he not going to finesse and buy a bunch of people's shit because that's what we do. Like, all right, I want to buy your bag, your holiday bag, your holiday bag. You feel me? If you got money, you can do that. He didn't do that. He ain't had no fucking bread to do that. So we like, where the fuck you get a holiday bag from? He's like, oh, motherfucker, yo, the motherfucking, uh, the one motherfucker had gave it to me. Yo, was in the line talking about he ain't want the shit. I'm like, who the fuck would say they don't want fucking Snickers Reese cups, fucking Kit Kats, honey buns and shit that you ain't having years? Like, even if I didn't want, I'm not just going to give you all this shit. I'm like, yo, mind you, y'all, he talking about the Transformer, the same exact one. So this person just gave you all this shit that's worth all this money. Like, even if I don't eat it, I could sell this snicker for five fucking dollars. So you telling me this person. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck type shit? Like, he just gave it to you. You're like, yeah, yo, he get to walking all fast and shit. Like, I got to go take this shit to the cut, this and that. Like, he trying to. So we talking now. I'm like, yo, hell no, yo. Like, hell no, bro. Like, now nah, this is, this feel like my girlfriend giving me her shit, like. That's, that's what it gave, like, you looking out for your spouse type shit. So we like, yo, this shit is crazy. So mind you, this was the holiday. That was like a Tuesday or something. I'm going to fast forward to Friday. Friday, somebody banging on my motherfucking, uh, my cell. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I jump up. They like, yo, bro, hurry up and pop your cell. You feel me? You got to come outside. Yo, the Baltimore people want you. So I'm like, now he he's saying it like as if some beef or something going on. Like, mind you, I'm not the big dog on, on campus. I'm a small fish in this shit. I'm young, but my name hold weight because of what I did in the streets and shit like that. So I'm who I am, but in the prison system, motherfucker, if you ain't got life, you ain't shit. Like, I got a couple years. They looking at me like, motherfucker, I'm in here for 30 more years. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk around me type shit. So I'm like, why the fuck they come get me? I come out, I see my fucking homeboy in handcuffs getting walked to like R&D. That's where you go, where you going to the hole, when you getting released, when you coming in, anything. So we like, what the fuck? They like, yo, he ready to go to the hole. He got the fucking handcuffs on with his head down, walking with his head down, not trying to look at nobody. We like, yo, what the fuck going on? Mind you, he walking through a fucking huge fucking yard that looked like a football field. It's just everybody outside working out and shit like that. So everybody trying to figure out what he got caught smoking. You feel me? Try to break out. Like, what the fuck going on? And look who walking behind him with fucking handcuffs on as well. Can y'all guess? I'm going to stop and let y'all guess who walking behind him locked up to. You fucking right. The fucking Transformer. I'm looking like, yo, what the fuck? fuck like what's going on the transformer walking and switching and all this my homeboy well i ain't keep ready to say my, my the, the, the dude from baltimore he walking with his head down like he ain't trying to look at nobody the transformer walking on switching and all that shit i'm like what the fuck is going on why my man going to the so i'm looking at the ceo like bro what y'all taking my man to the hole for and yo the ceo like let him tell you so I'm like, bro, what the fuck going on? He ain't saying shit. So they walk, take them to the little cell and all that shit. So I'm walking around like, yo, what's going on? Yo, what happened? They're like, man, the police caught you on, your homeboy from Baltimore in the bathroom with the transformer getting down. I said, hell no, hell no. They say that man got caught in there, man. No glove, no love, man. I said, man, fuck no, man. They said they literally caught them them in their pants down. Like, I guess the situation was they went and snuck into the bathroom together somehow. And another inmate told, there was like an older white dude told a CO and he walked in and caught them having sex. So when you get caught fucking and all that shit in prison, they take you, you gotta go to the hole and all that shit. So once they took them to the hole, he he gonna do he gonna do his little time in the hole and he gonna get switched to another jail. So I I never seen him again after that. 
And uh, I guess he came home and all that. And I guess he found my page, my Instagram, my Instagram popping now. So he probably ran across my page. I don't know why he sent me a friend request because I look on his page and he talking all this gangster shit. And I want right on the picture like, motherfucker, you was in there. Motherfucker, you literally got caught with your pants down with a fucking transformer. And you out here talking all this tough shit. Like, you need to talk a different way, bro. Like, for real. But, like, when I say that shit happens in prison so much, yo, y'all wouldn't believe the toughest motherfuckers go in prison. And they in full-blown relationships. Because we in fucking Alabama, they figure they, they gonna do whatever they want. Nobody going give a fuck because they from Baltimore until you see another Baltimore motherfucker and then you trying to act different but no nah, motherfucker you is not about to come home and act like you wasn't in there having relations with this fucking transformation but don't send me no firm requests cause you don't want me to you feel me put you out there so I just kindly got him off my motherfucking page and I ain't say shit to him he better not write me no DM cause I'ma tell him go ahead with that bullshit yo cause you and I know, I know what the fuck going on. You feel me? But that just was a little quick story time. I just thought it was funny that the motherfucker even sent me a friend request. At, at, knowing that I know what, what's going on with him. But y'all got to watch out for these fellas, man. They out here running around doing all type of shit in that prison. And then they come home, act like they never happened. That's, I'm telling you, it happened more often than you think to the people that you don't expect. So... Y'all be safe out there. Y'all like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. Should I should I tell them get the fuck on out of here and tell them stop talking that gangster shit? Y'all let me know how I should carry this, man, because this shit is funny.